We'll start off the session with the 70s game. Uh, I do not know that much about the 70s, and this is a trivia game, and it doesn't sell for much, so I'm going to leave this here. Here is a nice bamboo Chinese checkers set. Uh, normally I would get this, but we already have Chinese checkers, and it looks just like this, so I'm going to leave this here for somebody else. Here's a game called What's in the Square. This is a kid's game, and uh, this one does not go for much, and they want a little bit too much for this, in my opinion, so I'm going to leave this here for the kiddos. Here is a popular card game called Euchre. We already have this game, and uh, this is a really cool game to own, uh, but since we own it, we're not going to buy it. Here's a game called Score 4. This game goes for about 10 bucks on eBay, uh, but this one's missing some parts, so we've got to leave this one here, too. Here we have a game called Inklings, a game of little hints. We already have this game, and this game probably would sell well over Christmas, but not this time, so I'm going to leave this. Up next, we have Mad Chatter, the game of quick descriptions. We got a lot of games that have the same theme, so we're going to leave this here. It doesn't sell for much anyway. Here we have Picture Pursuit. Uh, never heard of this game. Uh, not something our group would probably be interested in, so I'm going to leave this here. What's it? Well, I'll tell you what this is. This is a game of words, and we got plenty of word games. I think I'm going to leave this one here, too. Again, it doesn't go for much. Here we have Phase 10 Twist. They don't make this game anymore, and it goes for some money on eBay. It's missing the information cards, but I can still get some money for it, I think, so I'm going to get it for sure. Here is the dot-com edition of Monopoly. The box is pretty beat up on this, and I think it's missing a couple of pieces, so on the shelf. Here we have Go Long Football Dice Game. We have this game already, and it's a pretty cool little game, but again, it doesn't sell for much on eBay, so I'm going to leave this here for somebody else. Here we have Mummy Rummy. We have this game, too, and this is a pretty unique rummy game. Uh, again, it doesn't sell for much on eBay, so I'm going to leave this here. Here we have a vintage version of Boggle. I would probably have gotten this if it wasn't $5. That's a little bit high. I'm going to leave this one here, too. Here we have Disney Pictopia. I think this game goes for a little bit of money on eBay, but for the price they're asking, I can't really make much off of it, so I'm going to leave this here, too. Speaking of Disney, here's another one, Disney Guess Words. Pretty much the same situation. Uh, it costs a little bit too much here, and I wouldn't be able to turn a profit, so I'm going to leave this here, too. Here we have Murder Mystery Pasta Passion and Pistols. I actually found another Murder Mystery game, and it was new, and this one's new too. I'm going to go ahead and get it and see if I can sell the two of them together. Here we have It's a Wonderful Life, starring Jimmy Stewart. And it's a wonderful game too. You, 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 you gotta believe me, you gotta say. Well, I don't believe you, Jimmy. On the shelf. Well, folks, that does it for us this week. Tune in next week for another episode of Big Game Hunting. If you like what you see, please feel free to subscribe. Take care. Keep on gaming.